Happy Art Day. I'm outside my backyard because today's art project can be a little messy. We are gonna be doing bubble painting today. Um, so on the next slide, you'll see all the supplies that you'll need. And in this video, it really is giving you tips and tricks of how to create your own bubble painting mural on your own. Okay. So you can go through this whole video if you want, but a lot of it was trial and error where there's a lot more failures than successes in those experiments. So, so follow along the first half and see what worked and what didn't work for me. And the things that didn't work for me might work for you. You never know. I found um, the perfect way to create a vibrant masterpiece um, using just straws and temporal paint. Um, but if, but I encourage you to try to use the, um, bubbles and the paint or the bubbles and the food coloring, um, with different proportions to see if your choices of proportions work better than what I chose. Um, because I did try several different things in the first half of this video. Um, so just a disclaimer. So grab your supplies and get creative and create a masterpiece bubble painting. Okay, so the first step before you even start using the bubbles is to create your colors. So you'll need some type of containers, either plates or cups, um, tempera paint, but I've also heard, which we're gonna try today, um, go in your kitchen and grab some food coloring um, to create the colors. And of course, bubbles. And likely they have wands in the bub bubble container, but if you want to be creative and you don't have wands or want different shapes and try to experiment with different shapes, take some pipe cleaners and we will create our own wands out of pipe cleaners and we might even, if you have straws at home, grab a few straws. You might see when we blow the bubble solution from the straw, um, what that does to our creation. Let's first st start with the wands. So I'm, I, I was actually thinking about creating a shape out of the wand. So like a heart. Um, so grab some Chanel or pipe cleaners and just be creative. It doesn't have to be perfect. And just twist it around just like that. So, so I just made a heart wand. Um, so my wands are double, so I might just do a single wand. Sometimes the wands are single um, holes or double in different sizes. So I might just do a single loop and just tw make your shape and then twist the ends and then leave a tail for a handle. <clears throat> Maybe a square, let's see if I can do a square. So just Create that shape. This part you might need some help just because it's a little, takes a little bit more fine motor skills. <clears throat> it will be kind of fun to see what kind of designs come from these different shapes that we make. So it looks like a square with some rounded edges. So Got some wands made. Now let's go to the solutions. So all you need is bubble solution and either um, tempera paint or food coloring. So I'm gonna do a few of each. So now let's make this the solution. So you're just gonna pour some bubble solution, okay? in each container, plate, or cup. I'm 
first gonna do these three and add a couple of food colorings of colors that I might not have, like a temporal plate paint. And then just add a few drops. You'll see shortly that um, I was having a bit of trouble um, imprinting the colors onto the paper using bubbles. And I think it had to do with the proportions. So um, I would attempt less bubble solution and more paint colors. Um, and make sure you shake up the temporal paint before pouring it in. You'll just have to play around with the ratio of bubbles to paints or food coloring. I also found by doing this video and this project that the watercolors worked better than the temporal paint, um, as well as the darkness of the colors. So depending on what temporal paint colors you are using, it might work better for you than it did for me. But I found that the darker the color, the better um, it imprinted. And as you can see, um, you might have to stir and dissolve the paints into the bubble solution like I have been doing, um, not just at the beginning, but um, throughout the project. One color and a plate, especially if you have a larger wand. yellow maybe we'll mix a couple colors these two are kind of a different orangey yellow so we'll just kind of mix them and see what happens Probably a little bit more pain in this one since it's a plate. This is where the fun part comes. Hopefully it doesn't blow away. It's kind of windy out here. And let's see what happens. I would suggest if you use a straw, um, make sure that you blow out, not in. Ooh, that looks cool. Um, let's try this yellow over here. You have to get really close. There we go. So just go and create your masterpiece. It's almost like you need to take the straw or the wand, like blow, try to blow slowly and see if you can like make the bubble touch the paper before it pops. This is harder than I thought it was gonna be.
Well, if I can just get the color to stick with the bubbles. Maybe it's just not working like I thought it was going to. Oh, there we go. You really have to. I think I got the technique. So you have to really get really close and slowly blow. So that it gives that outline. Let's try. Heart. Now, nope. all the paint had soaked onto the Chanel. So, the shapes, having this sort of shape seems to not work. Actual wands and the straws seem to work better. I found that the darker the color or food coloring, I think the food color works better. The darker the color, the better it, it imprints on to the paper. The straws are really good. So if you wanna just grab, stir the solution Grab the grab some liquid with colored liquid by placing the straw down into the solution. So st stir it, and then to catch the liquid, you're just going to put your finger, hold the straw with one with one hand, and using one of the fingers, you're going to press it to hold it so it's inside the straw. Place it down, and then blow. It gives. Mm. That technique seems to work better. And if there's a lot of liquid, then you can actually make a bubble and then pop it. I'm gonna bring this plastic wand over to this dark color that seemed to work the best. Yeah, see how that made an imprint. I wonder, let's try just water and paint and, and not the bubbles and see how that, so I'm just gonna grab another piece of paper. I'm actually gonna grab yellow and see how that turns out with these colors. This is a darker color, so it might work out, we don't know. I first am gonna use a wand. And do the same thing. It won't bubble like, you know, it won't create a bubble. What I might do is add a little bit of bubble to it, to each one, but just so that And just do different directions. And if you wanna make a bubble after the paint and stuff, then you put it down completely flush with the paper and just blow out. Let's do another wand and see if 
Add in that Yep, temporal paint didn't work as well as um, it did, and I thought it would. Cause I... So when it doesn't work, you just get creative and use what you got. Now that we've tried one or two techniques, we're gonna just try one more technique. And I'm just going to put dots of different temporal paints in different places. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. what I'm gonna do is take my bubble solution and just bubble solution and a straw and just kind of place it down next to a color and just see what happens so that didn't work Try a wand. Nope. So the next thing is just to place a straw on each of the colors and just blow that around. And try to mix them. Okay, I like this technique a lot better and how it's coming out. So we're using air to make a beautiful abstract colored mural. Gonna move your wrist like this as you blow to move that paint around. We're having a disco party. So this is a technique that has worked best. Um, if you were able to get it working with your bubbles, awesome. But as you can see, okay, but it's oh, like, watercolorish it's too much watered down where this look at that so vibrant so this project wasn't as successful as i thought it would be but i think we found the perfect way to make a abstract vibrant mural i hope you were able to find your own technique that worked for you and if it, if it was with the bubbles awesome but for me, it just wasn't working as well as I thought it was. So after your mural dries, don't do it now, but after your mural dries, you could try to um, make a homemade card out of it or just frame it like this. Or I just thought of an idea. Same technique by putting temporal paint all over one side. So one half of the paper. Oh, I did it on one half of the paper. I'm just gonna do a little blow, bit of blowing. But not as much. And then before it dries, I'm going to fold my paper down 
and then open it and see what happens. Oh my gosh, and look at that. I'm gonna let that dry. So that's something else you can do. Even though this art project wasn't quite perfect with the bubbles, we figured out a way to make a beautiful, vibrant painting. I hope you enjoyed this art project. We're able to experiment and see what worked for you um, to create a masterpiece of your own. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.